Hi everybody and welcome to this video. So today I'm gonna tell you more about the different kind of bars that I've been riding to train my bigger moves during this winter. Uh, so yeah, we had some crazy storms coming in in the north of France during winter, like coming in from the Atlantic. And uh, I think we had even better wind statistics than in Cape Town. So you don't really need to travel far in the end to train some bigger moves. And uh, yeah, you actually have a lot of different options that you can choose uh, riding the pivot like a lot of different bars so actually it's kind of hard to choose one and uh, you don't really know what's the difference between one and another so I just want to um, make a little review of what I've been figuring out like uh, in the past few weeks uh, especially regarding the bigger moves on the bigger side of the sport and so I've been riding for that uh, two different guides the pivot 9 meter and the pivot 8 meter and I've been trying two different bars from Nash. The first one is the ATV 55 with a 24 meter lines. The other one is the 20 plus four, but this time with 20 meter lines and only 50 centimeters wide. And actually those bars have huge differences. And so I'm gonna tell you what they are exactly and what you can expect from them. So yeah, check it out. Ça voulait dire on est heureux, 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 on avait dit que j'avais rien pour réussir. J'ai prouvé que la critique avait rien pour faire de la critique. Voilà. Que je réussisse malgré ce que l'on a raconté, on ne me l'a jamais pardonné. C'est curieux. After the action, the conclusions, and um, I would say that the main difference between riding 24 meter lines rather than 20 is on the kind of power that you will get from the guide. With 24 meter lines, you definitely have like more vertical and a horizontal power from the guide, meaning that you will get more hang time and you will be able to jump higher with 24 meter lines. However, it will be less comfortable to ride with those lines because you have so much horizontal power that usually you ride the the hand fully extended like that and it's not really comfortable. It's not the case when you ride 20 meter lines. And the other big difference is that when you will loop the kite with 24 meter lines, the loop is gonna be very smooth and steady. So you will be able to hold the position. When you loop with the 20 meter lines, you really get a big pull in the middle of the loop. It's kind of like disturbing because it's really hard to stay in focus and not like kind of shake and, and uh, get in the wrong position. So um, I would say for the experienced one, maybe 20 meters line is good because you really have a direct feeling with the kite. You can really feel it. You can really land the way you want and you can get like some amazing sensations when you loop. But for those who are just starting looping and doing bigger, I will definitely recommend the 24 meter line because yeah, it's smoother, you have more hang time and uh, it's less radical. Uh, so, but anyway, you will have all the details here. And uh, if you really want to have precise information, just go and read that uh, content that I'm showing you right now. And uh, don't hesitate to share your feedback as well. And uh, we can start an amazing conversation, help everybody find the right setting for them. See you on the water.